It is Christmas Eve and it's raining and it's been raining for hours and hours and it's pretty muddy. Uh, it's Christmas Eve folks in North Carolina. Um, but hey, I got to feed the animals like any other day. I got to clean up horse poop like any other day. Even though it's Christmas Eve, homesteading still has to happen. The horses don't care that it's Christmas Eve. The pigs don't care that it's Christmas Eve. The turkeys don't care that it's Christmas Eve. The chickens don't care that it's Christmas Eve. Heck, even my honeybees over there don't care that it's Christmas Eve. But that's okay. It is, you know, the life we chose and it's tough sometimes to go on vacation. Whenever we go on vacation, we have to pay a farm sitter to watch your farm. Uh, that's just one of the things we have to add into our budget. So homesteading, uh, this is the reality of it, people. You don't have a choice to say, no, I don't want to feed the animals. No, I don't want to do the manure. No, I don't want to harvest a garden. If I don't harvest a garden, then everything goes bad. And you know, that's kind of a waste. So the pigs, I don't know if you can see our mini pig shelter. Um, they are in their shelter. They're coming out now, look at that. There's a big hay bale. Uh-oh. Here comes another one. I need, need to move that hay bale. They pushed it out. So let's go ahead and feed these pigs. Rudy. There's Rudy. Mr. E. There comes uh, Stella there. And this is what they're eating, people. They're getting some bananas that went bad, a bagel, some graham crackers. Happy holidays, you pigs. Happy holidays, you pigs. You pigs, happy holidays. Happy holidays, you pig. You want a banana? You want a banana? Oh, I want me a banana. Oh, he wants a banana. Do you want a banana? I want a banana. She wants a banana. Rudy, Rudy, you want a banana boy? Oh my gosh, she want a banana. Okay, I'm gonna toss the rest and they'll go forage for it. You guys enjoy them snacky cakes, okay? You guys stay warm. Happy holidays, you pigs. You pigs. I gotta go fix that though, or that's a waste of a hay bale. I left the, uh, tractor out last night I was pretty tired um, I needed to move it underneath the carport promise me you're not gonna tell my wife that I left the tractor in the rain though if you do I'm coming for you people I'm coming for you Okay, now it's time to feed the horses. They're in the front pasture on their new dry lot. Uh, the wife is inside. We got a new, it's a hall tree for the mud room for our boots and our jackets. So that's nice. Uh, I put it together last night. So she's doing the organizing. Our daughter, who's a teenager now, is watching her brother, who's seven months old. And I'm in the pouring rain feeding these animals. A lot of times, uh, my wife and daughter have to feed in the mornings. I gotta go to work at about 6.30 in the morning. So I might get to feed the cats and that's about it. Um, horses sometimes if I get going. Um, but since I'm a school teacher and I'm on break, I'm able to feed a lot more. So I'm trying to take some stress off of the uh, wife. Um, it's been tough with COVID and having a baby and quarantine and I mean it's been a rough year people uh, but you know things are getting good things are gonna be better so let's go ahead and feed these horses they're in their dry lot which is really important to keep them off the mud
Okay, I got the horses fed, and now I got to clean all of the horse poop on the dry lot. This is just one night, people. Um, but that's really important for the maintenance of this horse lot so that we keep it clean and dry. We've had rain all day, and this horse lot is pretty dry. Um, is a homesteading life worth it? In one word, yes. It is a lot of work. Um, you got to make sacrifices, but really when you think about those sacrifices, you're gaining so much more. Um, whenever we leave the farm, it's tough. We got to um, have a farm sitter. Um, we can't stay out late. We got to feed the animals. Um, but we live in a small country town. There's not much to do at night anyways. And I'd rather have my 20 acres than a small backyard. Um, I've always lived in small towns ever since I left uh, St. Louis. Um, I don't know if it's the small towns that drew me to those places or just being close to nature. Um, so it's Christmas Eve. I got about 30 piles of horse poop to shovel. Um, it's not what I want to do, it's what I have to do, but really in the end I'd rather be here on our farm with my family and our animals than really anywhere else even when I travel to places I come home and it really is true there's no place like home so I hope everybody has a great holiday and you're safe you're sanitized you're spending time with friends and family as much as you can I know it's tough to do during COVID and the best thing to do is to be safe um, but things are gonna get better people things are gonna get better so I'm gonna let you go I got all this poop to shovel in the rain and uh, then I'm going to go inside and spend some time with my family.